A horizontal pipeline carries uh, water in a streamlined flow at a point along the pipe where the cross section area is 12 cm square. The velocity of water is 2 meter per second and pressure is uh, 2000 Pascal. The pressure of water at another point where the cross sectional area is 4 cm square is. So here uh, we are considering that a horizontal pipeline carries water in a streamlined flow. So we are considering that uh, horizontal pipeline so we can just take it as the cross sectional uh, area something like this and uh, horizontal is given that means the gravitational potential energy will be same at point 1 and point 2. Now we are considering a region where the cross sectional area is nothing but 12 cm square. So here you can take it as this A1 is equal to 12 cm square and uh, we are considering another cross sectional area where the uh, area is let's say A2 is nothing but uh, 4 cm square. The velocity of water at uh, 12 cm square or velocity over here let's say it is V1. So the value of V1 is given in question as nothing but uh, 2 meter per second and take it as velocity on point, point 2. So we are considering this is point 1 and this is point 2. Velocity at point 2 is take it as nothing but V2 and RM is to find out the value of V2 for it. And uh, pressure is given. So pressure at this point let's say that is P1. So in P1 and question the value of P1 is given as nothing but uh, 20,000. So it is given as nothing but uh, 20,000 Pascal. And RM is to find out the value of pressure at point 2, P2. So we can apply Bernoulli's theorem between point 1 and point 2 and we can find out the value for it. So over here it is a horizontal tube is given. So gravitational potential energy will be uh, same. So we can, uh, if any if you are writing, it will get uh, cancelled. So we'll write the value of P1 plus half into rho into V1 square should be equal to pressure at point 2 P2 plus half into rho into V2 square. Now we can RM is to find out the value of P2. So we can write this as P1 plus half into rho into V1 square minus uh, V2 square is equal to the value of P2. Now the value of P1 over here is nothing but uh, 20,000 plus we can take it as half into uh, over here uh, the density so water is given so density we can take it as something but 1000 or 10 raised to 3 into v1 square now we should know the value of v2 for further calculation so by applying Bernoulli's uh, by applying continuity equation we can find out the value of this velocity at second point so according to continuity equation we can write a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so the value of v2 will be equal to a1 v1 divided by a2 the value of a1 is given as nothing but 12, v1 is nothing but 2, a2 is nothing but uh, 4. So we can write this as uh, 3, 3 into 2 which we can take it as 6. So the velocity over there is nothing but uh, 6 meter per second. So we can write this as v1 square which is uh, 2 square which is 4 minus v2 just now we calculated it as 6, 6 is square which we can take it as 36. So that is going to, that will give the value of P2 over here. So we can write this as 20,000 plus uh, this we can take it as 500 into minus of 32 over here. So this will give the value of P2 or you can take it as it is 20,000 minus is uh, 16,000 is equal to the value of P2. So 20,000 minus 16,000 we can take it as I think but uh, 4,000 is a value of uh, P2.